Hello students, welcome to your geography class. Today I am here with the second part of the chapter Earth as a planet. Hope you have seen the first part of this chapter and you have understood. So let's start with that second part. Student, in the first part I have explained the basic concept of Earth and its location in the solar system. Then the realm of Earth and the shape of Earth. In the shape of Earth, you have seen the shape of Earth is actually oblate sphere. And why we will also believe that it's having this kind of shape, not, not other kind of. So there are different that also reasons to make us feel the and to make us faith in this concept that yes, the shape of Earth is sphere. Here I have written that some points proofs of the earth surface how we can get uh, that proof that yes the shape of the earth is sphere first is aerial photograph do you know this time is the time of technology in this time if we take the photograph from space by that satellite we will get a photo of earth as sphere next is lunar eclipse what is lunar eclipse when the shadow of the earth it also obstructed the moon that is known as lunar eclipse here sun then earth and moon they will be in horizontal line straight line so here the shadow of earth when it is coming over moon it is just circular it means the shape of the earth is sphere then all celestial bodies are spherical yes all celestial body in the solar system including sun moon and other planets are having circular shape that's why it is not no exception that earth also having the shape of that sphere then sunrise and sunset if earth were a flat also that um, body then sunray, sunrise and sunset always will be at the same time but it is not happening there is a time gap between that sunrise and sunset so it is clear that the shape of the earth is not flat next horizon is circular if you are traveling also in a ship you can see the horizon and it will be a circular horizon so it is also another proof that shape of the earth is that sphere the earth surface is curved if we this is the shape actually if a same height three poles drive on a land we will get to see from a distance the middle one will be it will look like higher and gradually that these are the lower one it means the shape is sphere and then the seven point is light line of visibility <coughs> increase with height how that it is proved when you are standing on a cliff near to the ocean you will get to see first the cast of the ship then the funnel of the ship and then the hull it means gradually gradually it is coming also to you and becoming more visible if it was a um, that flat surface or flat body then whole ship you can get to see at a time but it is not happening next eight circumnavigation of the earth those navigators they started that trouble from which place they again reached to the same area or same point so it is another point and proof that in favor of this ship so here students please remember this point the experiments in the exam it can ask any two or three that also proof you can go for this next what are the conditions which supports life on earth yes i have explained some points in that previous video but here i will write some point first the inequal distribution of land and water you know in our 71 percent is water covered and 29 percent is land covered so it is not equal 
equally distributed in that earth or in the world. If you see, this is north, northern hemisphere, southern hemisphere. Northern hemisphere, that land bodies are more, more land. But in the southern part, I mean southern hemisphere, that water, it is not equal to land. It is 15 times more than the land masses land here. So 15 times more. And here the southern hemisphere is protruding only three water bodies, no, sorry, three land masses that is South America, South, Af uh, South Africa and Australia. Next, the point is biosphere. You already have read in that first video which com biosphere comprises of three sphere, atmosphere, hydrosphere and lithosphere. These three, that sphere basically the supporting that conditions to life and it is having different contents like animals that um, human beings soil so solar energy then other the components which also support light and these all contents are linked to each other and they form an ecosystem in that ecosystem in that environment we can see different that energy also different cycles like solar energy like oxygen cycle then nitrogen cycle heat cycle and water cycles you might will get to know in your biology or in our science subject more about these all cycles but i will just um, explain here just two three points about this all so what is solar energy here solar energy it converted to molecules to the photochemical process and the more best example is photosynthesis in that the um, plants they absorb the solar energy and then it gradually gradually it moved to that food chain next point that is an oxygen cycle we all are inhaling that's why we are taking that oxygen and somehow we are that uh, exhaling that carbon dioxide but in the photosynthesis process due to that um, processing of converting of that solar energy into the molecules the plants they are also emitting the oxygen in the nature maintaining this balance nitrogen cycle in the atmosphere 78 percent present that nitrogen this nitrogen absorbed by the plants and they uh, these plants basically they uh, absorb this nitrogen and increase the fertility of the soil productivity of the plants by the process of ammonification or nitrogen fixation then water cycle the water cycle process we can see the three state of water liquid gas and solid how they also change to the other also state and convert to the other state this is forming the water cycle so this is the different cycles we can get to see in the biosphere part next that one more important point if in that exam it is asking what are the main conditions that supporting life so you have to answer first that water that is known as the hydrosphere 71 percent it is also covered number two atmosphere which is having 21 percent of oxygen and this oxygen supporting the life in earth but other planets are not having this kind of gases basically they are somehow their atmosphere is thin or dense and it is having noxious gases that's why they can't support the life number three is the distance of earth from sun it is not that much far like neptune so it is not also frigid also planet and that much not near like mercury so it is not that much hot it is having favorable temperature to support life so these main three points remember whenever it is asking in the exam whatever the favorable condition you can write this three point okay students last point in this chapter i will tell that the satellite satellite of art you know in the solar system all the planets are having satellite but the shape and the size of the satellites are very small in comparison to that planets but the size of moon which is the satellite of sun have, having the size of one quarter of the size of earth and the moons only one side we can see because it is taking 20 moon 
it is taking 27 days 7 hours 43 minutes to revolve around the earth and it is taking exactly the same time to rotate on its own axis that's why only we can see one one side of the moon so is it clear student here the question can come what are the favorable conditions why one side of the moon we can see why are also um, the other planets can't support the life and also the realm of earth or the biosphere the realm of that also biosphere that is the tree sphere okay students if you like the video if you understood please put your valuable feedback in that comment section thank you